After ordering 480 Nagastra 1 loitering munitions in 2024, the Indian Army has again placed an order with Solar Defence to procure around 450 improved Nagastra 1 R loitering munitions with more than 80% indigenous content, that has a total operational range of 170 km. Idea Forge has received a 137 crore rupees order from the Ministry of Defence for many UAVs and delivery will be completed within 12 months. The Indian Air Force has intensified its efforts on acquiring additional units of Adani defense manufactured Agni Colloitering Munition, which has been combat proven in suppression of enemy air defense missions in Pakistan. Reports indicate that there is an internal dispute within the number 15 Cobra Squadron of Pakistan Air Force, as multiple J-10C pilots from the Cobra Squadron are vying for credit for the fake raffle downing due to which no official verification have been awarded to any Pakistani pilot. Hindustan Aeronautics has integrated a new dual pylon configuration on the Tejas Mark 1A, allowing two ASRAM missiles on a single hard point, and HAL is also developing a dual pylon configuration for the Astra Mark 1 and Mark 2 missile. The Indian Navy has received 19 MH-60 Seahawk helicopters till now, and the 20th helicopter is undergoing pre-delivery trials in US, and the delivery of all 24 units will be completed by the end of 2025. The Indian Army and Assam Rifles conducted a joint exercise, to understand each other's capabilities and enhance interoperability. France has conducted the first development firing of the 100 km range Mica NG air to air missile from a Rafale test aircraft, which represents a potential upgrade for both the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. The AMCA program has sparked a fierce competition among several states to host its production facility, and five states are actively bidding to offer land and incentives to the consortium of companies forming to lead the AMCA program. The Indian Air Force has taken a resolute stance against compromising its S-400 air defense systems to accommodate a potential U.S. offer for the Lockheed Martin F-35A stealth fighter. The Indian Air Force has dismissed preconditions tied to any such offer, including restrictions on deploying F-35 near S-400 units, or U.S. oversight on F-35 deployment at specific air bases. India has begun preliminary development of a conventional version of the Mach 24 capable Agni 5 missile, that will be armed with a massive 7.5 ton warhead, but its range will be reduced to 2,500 km. It will be armed with two versions of warhead, an airburst warhead to damage ground installations over a large surface area, and a bunker buster warhead for striking targets 100 meters deep. The former CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has confirmed that the Indian Army is keen on adopting the Brahmos NG missile that will incorporate a booster stage for the Army variant and configurations with up to 9 missiles per launcher that will enhance the Army's ability to conduct salvo strikes, delivering a higher volume of precision strikes against targets in rapid succession. After last week's announcement of French Navy's first operational launch of Meteor missile, Critics are saying that integration issues on India's specific Rafale F-3R variant might have delayed full meteor compatibility, and not using meteor might have left Indian Rafales at a disadvantage against Pakistan's J-10C armed with Chinese PL-15E missiles. It is to be noted, that India bought 36 Rafale fighter jets and 250 meteor missiles from France in 2016, and due to tensions with Pakistan, India had requested faster delivery of at least 10 meteor missiles for the initial four Rafale aircraft, and France began delivering meteor missiles to India in May 2020, alongside the first batch of Rafale fighter jets and the full delivery of 250 meteor missiles occurred progressively between 2016 and 2022. The claim that Indian Air Force operated the Rafale in combat missions against Pakistan without its most potent air-to-air -air weapon is completely false, and is being propagated mainly by F-35 lobby and fanboys in India. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.